Hello everybody, welcome to Grace Berry Beauties. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Gun Hill Brewing Company. This is their Gun Hill Hamilton, in parentheses or quotes, Rise Up Rise Saison. Now guys, this is a low ABV beer, 4.8%. This may be like an entry level Saison or a Rye Saison beer. Uh, session Rye or Session Saison, if you will. Uh, I don't have any commercial description here on Rape Beer where I normally go, so we're run over to their website at Gun Hill, and it says, brewed with New York City grown rye moss and single hop with New Zealand Waiiti hops. Soft fruity aroma with notes of clove and stone fruit flavors such as peach and apricot. And that's all it says. That's the entire description. It does say 4.8%. No IBUs or anything like that written on it. No picture or anything. Just a very small, brief description of what the beer is. So, uh, this comes from my brother Rico, and he sends a little note here. And basically, he says the same thing I just read, read off the site. Brewed with 20% locally sourced New York rye and single hop with a lemony New Zealand Waiiti hops. No canned on date to be found, but he got it as fresh as he could because he picked it up at the brewery. And it was $4 a can. Uh, and it says, as far as he knows, they only distributed in New York. And like I said, the brewery is out of the Bronx in New York City. We're upside of town. Uh, <clears throat> I don't drink a lot of low ABV beers, guys. I find them a little lacking in taste, uh, for my palate anyway. Uh, but for somebody trying to get into a, a light beer, especially either a rye beer or a rye saison type beer, uh, this may be what you want to get into. We're about to find out. That's all we need to talk about. So we're going to pop the top on this thing and get into it and see what we got. Uh, first beer of the day for me. So I'm going to start off with this very light 4.8 percenter. It is a big 16 ounce can. So that may justify the $4 price that, the, that the, 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 the beer costs. But I can't see me paying $4 for one 16 ounce can of a 4.8 percent. But uh, cuisine is German. The cheeses are Peppery, Monterey, Pepper Jack, and it says here the meat is pork. Glasswire is the pint, Becker, non tumbler Stange, which is a slender cylinder type glass, which pours a monster head every time I use it, so I hate to use it, and I don't use it very often. And it says here, not recommended for extended salaries. I poured it very lightly because I read that it, sometimes it pours a very monster head. Uh, it is a lot of carbonation coming up from the bottom of the uh, glass, reinforcing it. It is a lighter amber color. Good looking though. Let's get a nose on it. I'm getting a little bit of apricots in there. Maybe some pears. Not a big, funky farmhouse. Saison type yeast on the nose. A little peppery from the rye. And probably from the New Zealand hops. Because those hops from Australia and New Zealand have a little pepperiness to them most of the time. Smells pretty good. Nice and floral. And there is some fruitiness in there. So let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Cheers Rico.
very slight hint of some of that farmhouse saison yeast, the funky yeast as I call it. Not much. Like I said before I even opened the can, this may be a good transitional beer to get you into that style if you want to get into it. It does have a decent bitterness on the back end. Decent beer. I mean, uh, it's not probably something that I would pick up for myself. Being uh, a low ABV beer at 4.8%, but I mean, 4.8%, you could drink this for breakfast if you want to. Or if you're out working in the yard, whether you're cutting grass, raking leaves, shoveling snow, uh, maybe something good, you come in and have one. And go back out and do what you were doing and not be too inebriated where you couldn't function. Or if you're operating any heavy machinery or saws or anything like that where you wouldn't be too too uh, messed up, uh, you're going to cut your arm, leg, or fingers off. So The low ABV beers have their place. Uh, session beers, as I call them, or lawnmower beers. Decent beer. I don't think it's anything outstanding, nothing to write home about. A good entry level low ABV Saison. So let's let it warm up and see what ends, what happens at the end, and uh, let her have a little bit. And we'll uh, come back and do the final chug thing. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Been sitting on it for a while. Let her have it. Yeah, we, we're both in agreement. It, it's okay. Good transitional beard. A good lawnmower rye Saison. Not enough taste from for me. Not getting enough of that funkiness in the uh, in the yeast that you typically could get with a good uh, saison. But I will say it has an, a nice fruity apricot pear taste to it, and a little bit of spiciness from the rye. But to me, the yeast is lacking a little bit on this. Final chug. Decent beer, but not outstanding, guys. To me, it's a B beer. Uh, 85 is where I put this. And uh, like I said earlier, probably something I wouldn't buy for myself. Uh, but I do appreciate Rico spending his hard-earned money on it and sending it down. He sent a whole selection uh, of beers from Gun Hill Brewing. So, uh, I guess he was at the brewery and he decided to purchase... Uh, uh, one of each and send them to me. Uh, I'd say he probably bought a four pack of each and, and uh, I would think I, I may be just jumping the gun there. He may have bought two. One for him and one for me. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, he did not say but I do appreciate him uh, spending his hard earned money and, and sending me to try. He is a great friend and a true brother. Uh, I have uh, no ratings on Beer Advocate or Rate Beer and so we'll run over to Untapped, and Untapped has it at 3.67, which is their B, their B also. So we're in agreement, it is a B beer. Uh, a little lackluster for me, for my taste. These uh, four point whatever beers are just a little thin and watery most of the time, and they're good entry level beers. Uh, uh, so if you're trying to get into that style of beer, these low session type, or either a session pale or a session IPA or a session rye, anything less than 5%, is good entry level beers usually for that style. So that's where I'm going to leave it. If you've had this one from Gun Hill Brewing, the Rise Up Rye, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's take something out of the fridge. See you then.